to keep fire with you in the first five to me. Simon, we're sitting up by the Radiston. Very good, thank you, Vinny. Okay. Whenever I go onto the set, I have that. The little clock starts turning. You know, the cogs start turning, and then you just get into character. I'm going to just start talking. We have speed. Rolling. I'd originally decided to do this movie because there was a kind of a thriller. Right now, we're shooting a... It started as a movie about a submarine and it ended up much, much bigger. He is the one man you can't control. I'm very happy to have Vinnie Jones and uh, Peach Moriarty and Adam Fogarty and keep going, keep going. all the cast from uh, Snatch and Grab. Really, I wanted to. Um, play alongside Steven Seagal really you know he's done some great movies under siege and other stuff and I knew this would be a good action movie with with him involved so anyway my character was just you know somebody who was the head of a special forces team who also was kind of put in prison falsely and uh, this opportunity sort of gave uh, this situation gave rise to an opportunity to get my freedom and the freedom for my men, so I thought that was interesting. Would he like to go up? Today we're actually shooting a, a, a big helicopter sequence uh, where we're about to land for the first sort of step of our operation. So, Vinny, I know this has been a really difficult shoot, you know, we've got just you know, problems here and there. What, what's been the toughest, the toughest thing for you so far on the show? Well, Mick, you know, it's a, it's a close call, but I think it's got to be um, probably taking the money off Randy on the, on the tennis, you know. You're not in South Central now. Vinny can't play football. Take two. I thought the guy had talent. He could have been a professional. <laughs> the next biggest actor since Clint Eastwood. How is he? I play a character called O'Hearn, who is uh, in charge of the engine room in the submarine. I love working with professionals. We're going to have to cut. That's Gary Daniels. Jesus. Gary, man, you're the man. <laughs> Uh, the script has been changing, but my character is a, a U.S. Marine that goes to an island where there's a mad scientist who has captured a nuclear weapon. And my mission fails and my men and I are captured and we are, our brains are induced with a mind control drug. Then you have to remember this moment when we speak next. Am I clear? I'm working on them on mind control forcing them, forcing their eyes open and making them watch horrible images from the past and terrible things that might happen to their families. Me and the rest of the members of Sharp's crew were up in cages. There, after we were put in a mind control device that changed us from good guys to bad guys. 
When we are rescued by Steven Seagal's men, we are taken onto a submarine and the mind control drug kicks in and we rebel and try to take over the submarine. Not all bad guys are good. Not all good guys are bad. His oh. dialect coach shot him. Headshot! Good man. When we have arrived on the submarine and we start to rebel, and we're in the medics room, uh, and there's a doc, his name is Doc Shock, and uh, he's the first person that I kill. I play a character called Dr. Chapel, who is a, a psychologist working for the CIA. What's in the bag? Apart from my condoms. And she uncovers a mind control plot. What I usually do is just try to understand the character, be myself as I would be that character. That helps me design the costume and the look of the film. The first thing I do is look at the role I'm to play. Read the script with, you know, more attention being put on my, my character. I play Henry and I think it's a great part. He's, uh, he plays a sniper. This is a guy who's got slightly uh, affected ideas about himself and his station in the world and he dresses in a slightly old style manner with a Panama hat and a cane and I just thought that was a kind of a helpful prop for the character. Yvonne is makeup lady. She's the best in Bulgaria, best in Europe. Oh, uh, it's a Steven Seagal movie, so there's a lot of going to be a lot of action in this movie. Cut. My favourite scenes are the fight scenes. It's just good fun, um, and it's very clever. I like all the way. I like the choreography. <laughs> I usually just get together with the choreographer if I'm not choreographing myself. And I um, start to choreograph um, and discuss the action with the director. It's a pleasure to work with um, someone like Steven Seagal. Um, but we've got really great stuntmen here. Yeah, every scene's dangerous here. That's our number one priority, just keep everybody safe. My name is Demeter. I've been working with New Image Bulgaria for six years, and I think that if you concentrate, everything always turns out fine. It's cool. Yeah, we do dangerous scenes because we do action movies, but we are very experienced. We're very careful. Nobody was really hurt, or, and we got very high level of effects and stuff. Well, yesterday we had a lot of things happening in the tunnel and uh, tank explosions, gunfire, a few people on fire. It 
it was a big day for us, four people on fire at the same time. So that involves a lot of safety, and uh, but it was a good day. The boys that worked very well. He's the one. He is the one. So is he. He's the one too. My favourite scene in this movie was the opera scene. There's a six minute opera where we do a, a it's very Hitchcock. There's a lot of snipers you know around. Everybody. The director and myself want me to fall through, uh, fall from the ceiling at the opera house. Great big long fall and come down and press. And uh, so maybe that'll be the one, and that'll probably be one of the most spectacular stunts in the movie. Where we had a death in the opera house and the guy had to fall from a balcony, hit another balcony, then fall into the chairs. I think this is good because we used a piece of apparatus called the descender. Uh, which enabled the cameras to follow the guy all the way into the chairs rather than having a, an airbag or boxes or whatever to fall into. Vinny's got a great face. A little tricky because his eyes are very deep set. And the sort of light I like to use normally doesn't really work for him so well. The women were just deli a delight to light. They were just fantastic. She's good. Lovely figure. Oh, no, 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 not today. And I really enjoy that. It's very dangerous. The Cody's coming to get me. Action cars! No comment. One more time, it's no good, no good. It was fantastic. My favorite set? The sets have been amazing. The submarine set is fantastic. I mean, like I said, originally the movie was all on a submarine, so we built a very detailed submarine. And uh, filming in Sofia is, you know, it's a beautiful city, so it's very easy. Not so easy to make it look like South America, but a few palm trees, it's easy. The sets are amazing. Uh, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't get better sets, no, no other place in the world. The sets are pretty large, uh, a lot of location work. It's been difficult because the schedule has been very tight. Being a, a story of uh, spies and terrorism and, and uh, mind control, the director chose to keep the idea dark, almost like a video game.
Tony. This is uh, director Tony, top man. Tony's very easy, the director Hickox. He's very easy with the way I work. I'm very easy the way he works. We do stuff in one, two takes. Checking the gate. The role's a bit more of me. I think it's all action. Action, great action movie uh, with some great characters. I think it'd be a good experience. I'm happy to be here making this movie and hopefully it'll be a good movie that will uh, uh, be theatrical all over the world. He's cool. He's a cool dude. <laughs> David, DOP, say hello to the camera, David. Hello, how are you? On this film, we have a lot more people coming from England. Do you speak American? No, I speak English. Actor from England. Dobre vici, dobre dan, dobre uto. Actors, I think they're very happy here. Uh, yes, yes, the producer's always great, always great. I never have any run-ins with them, except when it comes to payment. A smile. It's all out of the camera, boys. Cameraman. The sound department? Fucking nosy. A still photographer? It's like a real English soccer match, right? Well, I don't know. I've never seen an English soccer match. Follow me. Yeah. This is Danny, an escort supervisor. <laughs> this is my son, Mark Moriarty. You miss a spring this is uh, Hello, second AD. 